Author is funded by the Pacific Northwest Writers Association, supporting writers from pen to publication since 1955. To learn more about the PNWA and their yearly conference, please go to pnwa.org. Hi, I'm Jenny Shortridge, and today we're at the PNWA Writers Cottage at Gilman Village in Issaquah, Washington, and we're turning the tables on William Knauer, author of Write Within Yourself, An Author's Companion. Welcome, Bill. It's great to be here, Jenny. So, Bill, congratulations on the new book. Thank you very much. Tell me about how this book came to be for you. Well, it came to be really as organically as a thing can possibly come to be. I was writing a monthly column for Author Magazine, right. and uh, uh, Brian Mercer, who's the webmaster and also a friend and another writer, said, we need daily content, and you need to turn that monthly column into a daily column. Wow. Yeah, and I thought, there's no, no way, I can't do that. He said, well, just write about things like agents and query letters and publishing and that kind of stuff. You know, things you're not that interested in. I said, mm -hmm. sure, I can do that. And so I started doing that, but I quickly got tired of it. Mm -hmm. And But just one day I let myself, well, I'm going to write about what a nice day it is. And that turned into something about writing, oddly. And right. I said, I see, I can start anywhere and it can either turn into writing or I can start with writing, it can turn into life. Right. And I discovered there was always something to write about. And after I did enough of these, people started saying, hey, you should really collect them. And I wanted to collect them. Right. Because when I would look at books about writing, I was never interested in books about how to write. Mm -hmm. Although there's nothing wrong with those, but that wasn't my particular curiosity. But right. I was always into a book that would remind me why writing was worth it, mm -hmm. why the journey, no matter how difficult, should right. be taken. And you can do it, and don't be afraid. That's why it's an author's companion. That's why it's an author's companion, and I love that. And, um, you know, we have so many books out there that tell us how to write, when to write, where to write. <laughs> right. And what I love about your book here is that it talks more about writing as life, life as writing, just yeah. as you just said, and bringing the everyday world into your writing life. Absolutely. You know, my motto, if I had one, is what it takes to write the book you want to write is what it takes to lead the life you want to lead. That's my favorite part of your whole book. I love that because I really feel that's true as it a writer. It is true. Yes. It is true because what you learn at the desk you take to life and what you learn in life you take to the desk and human beings are creative. It's what we're, what, it's the only thing we know how to do is create. This is creative right here because mm -hmm. we're talking and this didn't exist before and now it does. Right. And life is a blank page every day and you have to fill it and you may have an outline but you're going to leave it. Or not. We Or not, but we couldn't plan this conversation. <laughs> right, right, right. And writing teaches you to trust. It teaches you to create the life you want. It teaches you how to make choices that matter to you. It's not just about active verbs and strong characters and snappy openings. That's right. There has to be something beneath and under oh. and all around of those craft yeah. things. Right. Why is the craft there? The craft is there to help you express something. Right. If there's nothing to express, the craft is useless. It's like a hammer and nails with no blueprint. There's nothing to do. You have to have something you want to say. It also kind of makes, you know, it makes sense that people come to writing sometimes a little bit later in life because you do have to have something to say. Yeah, it's a, uh, the first writer I ever saw speak was, and now I'm forgetting his name, Lonesome Dove. Uh, Larry McMurtry. Larry McMurtry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, he was the first one I heard say, writing is a middle-aged profession. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be, but... You can certainly practice. Yeah, you can younger. practice. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> there I is did. something about having something to say and having the courage to say it mm -hmm. uh, that seems to come more... Because you really do have to say, what I have to offer is worth hearing. Right. Whether it's in fiction or nonfiction. Right. And that seems to be something that's easier for people in their middle years to, to begin having the confidence. I know that was true with you to some degree. Certainly, degrees. right. Yeah, you have to have learned a few things in your own life and then um, have that desire to share that. Yeah. And which is what you do so beautifully in this, story, in this whole book. Um, tell us a little bit about the concept of write within yourself and where that comes from. Well, I couldn't come up with a title for the book. You know, and then I remembered the, the middle distance runner, Alan Webb, and how he was the, his coach said he runs within himself. Mm -hmm. I loved that term. Mm -hmm. And I realized that that's what I'm trying to teach people to do, is to write within themselves to know that everything they need already exists within them. If a story comes to you, yeah. 
the, the tools to tell it already exist within you. Mm -hmm. And so if you can keep your focus there, you will be able to translate it out to where other people can share it, right. can see it and understand it. And so my goal is to keep, is to, is to offer people in my daily column and in this book, a daily reminder of where their strength lies, where their safety lies, and where their creative power exists. There's nothing out there. It's not, there's nothing out there. The out there is where your work travels to, mm -hmm. but it's all, keep your focus in here. Mm -hmm. Keep your focus in here. You know, the poet, the difference between the poet and the teacher, so I'm teaching right now, mm -hmm. And that's fine. Teachers have time. The mm -hmm. poet doesn't have time. Mm -hmm. And what the poet does is answer a question like, just like teachers would, like I'm doing right now. But what the poet does is says, well, I don't have time. So instead of giving you the full answer, I am instead going to use image, metaphor, maybe a little narrative, language, to create within you the feeling mm -hmm. that provides the answer. Mm -hmm. And so then the reader provides the answer, but the, the mm -hmm. poet provides the feeling. Mm -hmm. And I always wrote these like poems. In my head, they were poems. Because yes. I can't give you the full answer, but let me remind you what it feels it like to you love your work. Right. It feels like to be confident. It feels mm -hmm. like to say, that's right, the only thing that matters is what I love, and not right. whether, what does that, because once you feel that, mm -hmm. then you can work from that. That's right, and even um, what I like so much is also, you know, even what it feels like to be lost, even what it feels like yeah. to not know where you're going or if you're supposed to be doing this at all. Yes. And that you fight that ba battle and, and share it is really important for writers, I think. Yeah, and one of the reasons I do the interviews with people like yourself and well, writers of all stripes and all experience levels is, is because I think it's so valuable for people to remember that, that everyone's going through this. You know, when you start your next book, yeah. you're going to say, well, now, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm there. All right, so you're already I'm there. there. <laughs> and every day I sit down to write a column, I go, and usually I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And I go, Phew. and then one little thing. Mm -hmm. But you start from nothing, and, there's, and, you, and at any time you can lose sight of yourself. Mm -hmm. And we're all going through that. And, it, and, and it's a terrible thing to think that there's something wrong with you right. for feeling lost. A better writer wouldn't be lost. Right, right. A better writer wouldn't. Good writers always know what they're doing. Yeah, they just, yeah. Prrr, no, not at all. Yeah, not at all. Now, Bill, I know that you're also working on a memoir. I'm, yes, yes, the memoir's done, yes. and we're just my, well, who knows, as of this taping, I'm waiting, I'm going to speak to my agent, I think tomorrow, oh, and see what she wants to do with it, and that, but, you know, it's interesting, the link between that. That's why I'm wondering if there's a link between the oh, two there books. absolutely is a link. Certainly they cross, probably. Um, it's called No One Is Broken, and it's about my relationship with my son, but to some degree, it, if we're not for him, I couldn't have really started the magazine, uh -huh. and if not for this writing these columns mm -hmm. and, and what the, what's contained in this book, I could not have written that book because I taught myself to write about myself. Right. I, I, what I really taught myself is to say, use your life in service to something else. It's oh, never nice, about yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are stories about me, right. but they're not about, I hope they aren't yeah. about And the, the best memoirs me. are really universal messages. They have they're to be. They're not just an inward look. And you know what I find interesting is that the more, when I can connect, when I can find that thing within me that is the truth of whatever moment occurred, which usually means I'm not a victim mm -hmm. and I'm certainly not the champion, right. you know, but when I find the truth of the moment, that is the most universal and that's when the reader sees themselves in it. Right. And if I can do that, then I've, I have, that's the heart of every moment. The goal. I think so. The emotional truth of the story, as opposed to the way it was no perceived, the way it was felt even. Yeah. There is no other truth. The only thing, I think the only thing humans care about is what life feels like, you know, because when you're writing a scene, you're not writing about what happens. You know, when you've got your, you've got your character sitting in the, the, in the ocean there at the beginning of mm -hmm. Love, Water, Memory, mm -hmm. all that matters is what does it feel like for her? What does it feel like not to know? What does it feel like to have the water on her? And that be to see the people. That's all we. I mean, it's interesting that she's there. Right. But. But you can but, do that in a sentence. <laughs> yes. Right. She was standing there and she didn't know where she was. But what yeah. does it feel like? Mm -hmm. Because to be human is to feel life, not to simply right. be there like a statue. Right. And 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 writers, I kind of crawl into um, the universal 
skin of everybody yeah. else. Yeah. And it's feeling this universal skin. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I while I do occasionally lay out in these essays sort of how to a little bit, mostly I'm just directing you to feeling. Mm -hmm. This is what confidence, I think, feels like. This mm -hmm. is what love feels like. This is what releasing uh, the need to control your yeah. story feels like, right? right? Whatever the thing it is. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you know, I wrote those for myself. A lot of times I would write them and I'd say, that is absolutely true. And then I'd get up and leave the desk and not follow any of my own. And then, <laughs> but then I'd learn it a little again, again the next time. And for a while I felt guilty like saying, God, I'm saying this. I know it's true, but I can't always live it, you know. Right. But I don't think it matters. Right. Because I think it's my best self. Certainly. At the desk. Yes. And it's I've learned to live what I write as I've written it. Does that make sense? That makes complete sense. How could any of us possibly always do the right thing. That's what Andre Dubuse said. He said, you know, I'm away from the desk. I'm as fallen as the next guy. But I do feel like he's, and I think it's true. He said, when I go, when I write, it's the best self shows up. And I for sure, mm. because I want, you see, it's great. Right. I can go to my desk and it's quiet and mm -hmm. I need the silence mm -hmm. and I can access the best part of myself. And if I had the wherewithal, I could access that in every moment and I'd be a saint, you know, <laughs> but I can't do it all the time. You know, we all could, but, but I, but there I can get close. Mm -hmm. And I, and I love being there. It's great just to be there and then I'll translate it, you know, but I go out in the circus of life and there's people saying things and I disagree with it and I, you know, mm -hmm. so I do the best I can, but I can't, I feel like at the desk is my best version of Bill. So we're turning the tables on you, Bill Knauer. Yeah. And I would like to do the thing that you do to us oh, no. now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'd like to ask you your, your question. If writing has taught me anything, it has taught me what? You know, it's really taught me a ton, but I think the thing it's taught me above everything else is that I have free will. Is that I have free will. Mm -hmm. That the page is blank and I have to fill that page and the only way to fill it is with choices. And I have all <laughs> the words in the world and all the thoughts in the world to choose from. I have to choose them and the choices I make determine the quality of that story or that essay. The choices I make determine the quality of my life. It's free will. The, the physical world, the sun, gravity, it's not free. It's not a f the physical world is bound by the laws of physics, right. but my consciousness, my will is free. It does not abide by those laws. There is no if then for my, in my opinion, right. for my will. Mm -hmm. and, and what writing has taught me is says, has taught me make those choices that you value and create your life. Create your story on your page and then create the story of your life.